caliber of rookie Nathan Peterman. After Taylor had a, you know, it was awful. Bad. Now lost two in a row, dropped to five and four on the season. And Taylor hasn't exactly been lighting it up of late near the bottom of the league in yards per game, completions per game, passer rating. I believe in Tyrod. Tyrod's our starter. That's what I said yesterday. And, and um, you know, I, I, uh, I, I, know, I know what Tyrod's done, and, and uh, I also know what Nate. Look, this is the team that moved Sammy Watkins to Los Angeles. And look how well the Rams are doing. They took some weapons away from Tyrod. And Peterman? A fifth-round draft pick at this time? This is insanity. You know what this is? This is an organization that looks up at the Patriots driving to work every day and now smells a little success. This is by a home team all year. Little success. Here come the Saints. This is a classic example. This is what Saban's doing to the, that division. Mm. Is ovulate. They're, they are. Is Tyrod Taylor the best quarterback in that camp? Uh, let's start with yeah and finish with it. There's nobody in that camp. That, now, again, I think he's a C plus. Vulnerable. Oh, huh, and they're freaking out. This is just dumb. This is an operational mistake to me. I agree 100 percent. Tyrod Taylor definitely should be starting. had a bad game when you you mentioned some stats they're five and four if the pl if the season was to be over now they're in yeah they're they're in <laughs> they're the 16th and, and you're saying wait a minute yes. you're completely shifting everything in mid-season a little bit beyond mid seat at the midpoint and you're having success it's not the success that you would say this NFL. New England's gotten blown out this year. Like, you just have bad... This is not college ball where you can have four turnovers and win. Everybody in this league... Philly the Chargers. Absolutely. Maybe the best defensive end combo in the league in Ingram and Bosa. Peterman's a sitting duck. But I just want to talk... I'm an outsider. I never spent time in an NFL locker room, but Ryan guy's in there, you're on notice. He shipped Marcel Darius out of town, right? Uh, Buffalo did. They also traded Watkins, as you said. Mm -hmm. Tyrod Taylor was a Rex Ryan guy. This is a signal to me, hey, it's my team. I believe in the last two weeks, right? We have that stat. And it's like, that's why you're benching Tyrod Taylor at the Saints game last week. Look at these Three numbers. minutes into the game, you're like, that. that's the... Tom McDermott, it doesn't really sound like this is a decision that no, it's, it's his. his. Yeah. It's, so it's, it sounds like this is coming from above his pay grade saying, look, this is what we need. Who's believing in his young quarterback. We're, in, we're still in the hunt. We're in position. We're the replacement for Doug Whaley, the general manager they ran off. This is his quarterback that he drafted in the fifth exactly. round. Exactly. I think Bean is the general manager's name. He wants him out of It's a bit of a side issue, but I, I just want to bring it up. This, to me, is why Colin Kaepernick's not in the NFL. Because just imagine if this were Colin Kaepernick getting benched. And so now we can just say the Buffalo Bills are insane, they're stupid, it's a bad football decision. But if it was Kaepernick, we'd be calling them, or people, we wouldn't, but people would be calling them racist. For Who's done this to the Eastern Conference? Saban's done this to the SEC, and Belichick's done this to the AFC East. When you're in a division with a legend, you fire guys like Mark. was winning 10 games a year. 
The Dolphins, the Jets, and the Bills are running through quarterbacks yeah. and GMs and coaches and coordinators. Acknowledge. If you go 9-7 and seven and get in, and by the way, this is the year in the AFC to do that. Yeah, absolutely. It is, the AFC is a mess. Buffalo is fr it's the well, 17 seasons. And you like to say, Colin, on your radio show, November is when the true colors come out. Yeah. We're talking about uh, Jason Garrett on the hot seat. Dallas historically struggles. And Like, you're changing your socks. I'm going to dump my quarterback. I'm going to change my T-shirt. I'm out with my coach. One more thing to that. Uh, this is what a lot of new management does. Every and then all of a sudden, so the, the general manager may have been sitting there, damn, we're five and four with Rex Ryan's personnel. <laughs> and maybe my narrative has been wrong about Rod Taylor has never given more, more love in his life than the last 10 minutes, <laughs> even in Buffalo. <laughs> L.A. botched the punishment of the players accused of stealing. But first...